Hey guys, my name is Angelia and welcome to the very first uh, Minecraft Monday. Um, a lot of you seem to be pretty jazzed about this idea, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, I've been really wanting to do a Minecraft LP for a while now, I just couldn't think of any good ideas. I'm sorry if you hear me rustling around, I'm just trying to rearrange things so I can set my phone up because I have a picture I want to look at while I'm doing this because I am planning on building today. Um, but I didn't really know what to do. I still don't really know what to do. Uh, you know, I want to make it fun and exciting, but you know, there's only so much you can do in Minecraft on your own. Why does my view look weird? Am I imagining things? I probably am. But first, I want to show you the amazing skin that my lovely friend Kiki made for me. I've never actually had like a Minecraft skin that was, you know, me. I've always used like Ariel or Rapunzel and stuff like that. So having one that's like me is really cool. So thank you so much, Kiki. I am completely in love with this freaking skin. Um, and I hope you guys don't mind, but I'm going to go into creative to do what I want to do, which is I want to, I want to build a house. <laughs> you know, it's kind of rudimentary stuff, especially for like Minecraft, but, um, I just, I really want to make a house. Yeah, I totally just cheated that chest, but that's okay. Um, I'm basically going to be building around this current house. Um, looks like I'm already in creative, so that's good. I have a picture up. What? Oh, that's right. I need that to put the roof on. Uh, so I think I'm going to keep this base. I'm just going to destroy it as well. Oh, but I worked so hard for this wood. You know what? I'll just cheat myself the wood later. Sorry if you guys don't like cheating, but I really wanna I wanna make a house and I have a picture up that I'm kind of modeling it after, so um so I said in my 2K QA video that um for like Minecraft Monday I wanted to like talk about stuff. No one really suggested anything to talk about, but I kind of I I've mentioned it a few times, so I decided you know what, there's no time like the present to finally talk about it. Um if you've watched my videos, you've heard me reference a former best friend. Uh, so I decided I'm going to talk about that. So we're going to talk a little bit about friendship today. Um, friendship is something that I value really highly in my life and I don't, I haven't already always had it, I guess. Um, you know, I've had best friends, obviously, I'm going to keep referencing him and I will talk about him, I promise, but um, <sighs> things didn't end well, I guess you could say. Uh, okay, so I'm going to start from like the beginning of this story. We met in middle school. I'm not going to mention any names because by chance if he happens to like stalk me and watch this, you know, I don't want to get any grief for it, but you know, just talking about it, you can't deny what you did, so live with it and oh well. Um, do I want to do quartz instead? Sorry, I'm like being indecisive. No, actually, no, I don't. I want to do per per. I love that block. Um, ooh, well, do I need stairs? I don't think I need stairs. Hmm. I'm so indecisive. Let me grab this one as well. When did we get this? That must have been in that update, huh? So I'm like getting distracted from all this stuff. Um. I think I want to do white hardened clay because it's really pretty in this pack. Okay, so we met in middle school, sixth grade. We were just wee little sprouts then. Um, we were in choir together. Uh, how hard do I want to make this? Um, and now I was in choir from fifth grade until my senior year in high school. So it's like what, nine years, I think? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's nine years. Okay, so this needs to be taller than... I'm like trying to count here. One, two, three, four. And then the actual layer will start here. So this is going to be like the ground layer right here. So now I need it taller than this. So... Eh, so I'm going to need about... Mm, five high? One, two... Three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, and six. Because you have to have one that goes over. Yeah, we'll just go with that. We'll pretend. Let's pretend. 
Okay, so then I need to pull this back this way. I want it to line up with this down here. It's really hard for me to like talk and build at the same time, apparently. <laughs> okay. And wait, is this even? Why does my view look so weird to me right now? I don't even know. Anyways, so that's how we met. We weren't exactly friends back then, but like obviously we knew each other because Choir, you're basically like a family. Um, at least for us, it was that way. Choir was like our freaking life. And um, we became friends our freshman year in high school. That's when we really got close. And why it's getting dark. That's annoying. There we go. And I don't want this here. I need the purple to come in one. Aw oh, man. Why did I put that chest there? <laughs> oh, crap. I don't want to lose my items. Sorry, now I'm like having to like rethink this. Um Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this out. Again. Building a Minecraft is a lot of trial and error I have discovered. And just messing around with things. So we wound up getting really close. And at the time, I actually had a crush on him at first. He told me he saw me as a sister. Kind of crushed me, but you know, what are you going to do? I was that person. I wasn't going to, you know, force it. And it, it, you know, it wasn't really my agenda to have a boyfriend at that point in time anyway. So it didn't really bother me, I guess. And why is my phone vibrating if I have it on Do Not Disturb? What the crap phone? Um, so we're gonna bring it up to that height. And then this is gonna go here. Alright, there we go. I figured it out, guys. I figured it out. Um, but we became best friends. We got close real fast. We talked on the phone pretty much every night. I'm not a really big phone talker. I don't really like talking on the phone. I kind of hate it, actually. Um, you know, when you're a teenager, though, you kind of like that crap. Uh, but then things changed. He wound up liking me then. And, I mean, things weren't awkward, but then I stopped liking him. So it was just like a really bad timing thing. I need doors. Uh, I always go for birch. I really like birch. Ugh, I'm gonna be that person again, guys. Sorry. Nope, wrong door. There we go. Um, actually, do I want to do that? Uh, you know what? It's gonna stay like that for right now. Or do I want to do that? <laughs> oh, God. You know, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. I actually kind of want to bring this down a layer. Right? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Oh my gosh, I'm confusing myself right now. I'm like looking at this picture and screwing myself up. How is this possible? I don't even know. We're just gonna leave it like that and pretend that's how I want it. <laughs> um, so then this has to come out here. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so now we're just gonna pop this up here for however big I decide to make it. That's good. I'm only the only person living in here. I'm all by myself. Oh man, I wish I had world edit right now. Because this kind of blows, I'm not even going to lie. World edit is the best. Um, wait, how did... It just came out too far. Alright, there we go. Um, I don't remember where I was, but... We were pretty much inseparable. We were attached to the freaking hip. We hung out all the time. I mean, he came to our family things for like Thanksgiving and Christmas. He was basically part of my family. My parents saw him as a son. I mean, they thought I was going to marry this boy. And to be honest, so did I. Um, I mean, we've 
we fought a lot. Like our senior year, we fought like cats and dogs. It was constantly, we were just always fighting, usually because of him. I'm not gonna lie, he was the one that was usually starting every freaking fight we ever had. Um, he was ticked off because I didn't feel the same way about him anymore, and he would get like really grumpy with me about it because he wanted it to be right then and there, he wanted it to be his way. Um, and then, like, right after we graduated, I actually had gone. no, I wasn't when I graduated, it was, um, mm. It was right before prom, I got diagnosed with my temporomandibular joint disorder, aka TMJD. If you ever hear me talking about my jaw aching, that's what it is. Um, it is a completely normal thing to get. Everyone will get it in their lifetime, but it usually goes away within a few days to a few weeks. Um, but mine is permanent and chronic, which is incredibly rare. And especially for me, because I was so young, it's just, it's not normal, and I was pretty much crying myself to sleep every night because the, of the pain was so bad in my jaw. You have no idea how about the migraines were, like, it's not a normal migraine. It's, it's really hard to explain, but it's almost, ah. There were nights where it wasn't a pain, it was more like a pressure, and if, if you can picture being held underwater, and that pressure, when you go down too deep, that's what it felt like. And it was, it was really bad, it hurt, and... Um, after we graduated, it got progressively worse. Like, there was no controlling it, basically. It, it got really, really bad. He didn't understand that I just wanted to take the time to get better, because I was looking for a dentist or a doctor to help me, anyone to help me to make this even slightly better. He didn't understand why I didn't want a boyfriend, and why I thought that would be bad. Um, I just didn't want the added pressure or stress of having a significant other, you know? While you're already going through something, having that is really stressful. New relationships are hard, and I didn't want to deal with that. Maybe that was selfish of me. Maybe I was stupid. But, you know, for the first time in a long time, I wanted to focus on myself, and I don't think that's a bad thing at all. I really, really don't. Um, I don't remember how high this part is. Um, if, you ever, if you've ever seen me building on Coffee Craft, it's usually my tactic for building. <laughs> um, things improved after that, after I kind of yelled at him about that, because he was incessantly harassing me about it and just would not stop. Did this reset? I can't... I don't know, I'm not going to worry about it until it gets super, super, uh, super dark. Um... He, he's just that personality that wants what he wants when he wants it, and if he doesn't get it, he's going to raise hell. Um, and our friendship suffered for it. He would pick fights over really stupid crap, basically, and drive me up the wall because of it. And I hated it. I hated every moment. I couldn't understand why he couldn't just be there for me and be supportive and be my friend, because that's what I needed at the time. Um, but he was in love with me. Um, and I, deep down, I, I was too. It's just, I was, I wanted to get better. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I don't think that's a crime to want to get yourself better. Um, I, I mean, I, we, we were in that, like, that weird limbo where you're not official, but you're not dating. You know what I mean? Like, you're not seeing anyone else, you're not dating, but you know, the feelings are there. It's like unofficially official or officially unofficial, that sort of deal. That's what I thought of us as. Um, and I, I, you know, I thought he did too, but apparently not. Um, it was August of 2014. Now, this boy was my best friend. Uh, I mean, he came over to my house twice a week, every week. Um, we played video games together. We played Call of Duty. That's how I started playing Call of Duty all the time. It was because of him. And, um, do I want to use... Oh, wait, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, um... Do I want to do glass panes, or do I want to do glass blocks? Let's do glass panes. Um... Wait, that's why I look stupid right here, isn't it? 
because it's going to connect. Hmm. Unless I line this with this. Yeah, that'll have to do. Um, August of 2014. Yeah, I thought things were fine. Um, and then I happened to log on to Facebook, and this was like one of the last times I was ever on Facebook, to be honest. I promptly deactivated my Facebook right after this all went down. Um, he was in a relationship. He didn't tell me. I had to find out through freaking Facebook. Because he didn't have the balls to tell me himself because he was too much of a freaking coward. He stopped talking to me completely. He cut off any form of communication that we had. He never texted me back. He, I wrote him letters, like physical letters and something to his house. He didn't answer. He didn't answer anything. He would not talk to me. He wouldn't tell me what I had done to deserve him abandoning me. I mean, how would you feel if your best friend of 10 years just all of a sudden stopped talking to you? And had nothing to do with you and all of your mutual quote unquote friends ditched you in the process because you know they were friends with him first so hey sorry gotta cut you loose now girl um it it was a really dark point in my life i don't use the term lightly i did fall into a depression where getting out of bed was a chore eating. I didn't care if I ate. I didn't care about anything. The things I used to love doing, I stopped. I just couldn't find it in me to give a crap anymore about anything, or least of all about myself. Um, you know, I had this period where I thought I was completely worthless. Like, what is so horrible about me that he could have done that? You know, I thought things were fine, and I was actually gearing up to tell him how I felt about him, you know? I, I, I dropped hints that entire year, like we went to Disneyland together in February, like on Valentine's Day, and I was dropping hints left and right and he didn't get it. And I got told, well you should have just told me, well you're my best friend, shouldn't you have known? Like you know me better than anyone else in this world and you didn't get that? <laughs> like are you kidding me right now? Um, so the non-contact went on. I basically had to beg him to talk to me. It, and you have no idea how demoralizing that is for someone to beg your former best friend to talk to you. My grandpa was in the freaking hospital and I needed him in my life. That was the only reason he actually started talking to me. And then it was after that that I begged him to come and talk to me. Um, so he came into my house. We sat in his car and talked. He told me he still loved me, um, and I said, then isn't the answer simple? He said, no, it's not that easy. Um, I started crying and I left the car. Because w what do you do when your best friend tells you basically, hey, sorry, not sorry. Um, it, it, it was a long time before I was able to finally breathe again and I finally felt like myself again. It probably wasn't until like a year later, if I'm completely honest. Um, music got me through a lot of it, but mostly it was just time and me crying it out like a freaking lunatic every single night. I was sobbing my eyes out. Like, I lost a huge part of myself because he, and he was like my other half at that point. And to lose that is really hard, especially like when so much of you was formed while you knew him, while you knew that person. Because obviously we basically grew up together and things didn't turn out the way I thought they would. And because of that, um, and again, I'm calling it relationship because to me it felt like a relationship. It felt like a 10 year relationship that was ended way before I ever thought it was supposed to and he just cut me loose and I have not been in a relationship since and it's because of that that I genuinely don't think it's ever gonna happen for me and like that 
true love getting married thing and that's something I've wanted my entire life. I want to get married. I want to have kids so badly. You know, I've want I've always wanted to be a mom and it's just something I don't feel like it's in the cards for me anymore. And I know looking back on it now, I'm way better off. Trust me. Like I'm so better off that it did end because I can recognize the emotional abuse that happened and I know he didn't mean to do it. It was not intentional. So if he ever does happen to come across this, I know it wasn't intentional. I know that's not you, but it was that way. And uh, it was just like, it was really stupid things. Like I couldn't talk about a movie or a book that I liked that he didn't, or he would get really mad at me. Like he would shut completely down and not speak to me and he would get really snarky with me for no reason just because I was talking about something that I happened to like. We basically had to talk about what he liked all the time. <laughs> there was like no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It was his way or no way. And you know, I, I mean, I just sort of conformed to that. I just got used to it. I had to watch my words. I had to walk on eggshells around him and grit my teeth and bear it. Um, we, we went to like a lot of, you know, like midnight releases of movies and everything. He's a big movie buff and so am I. So, um, I can't use pains up there, can I? No. Oh, well, guess I'm typing caps now. Um, most of the movies that we went to out of the year were like quote unquote his movies. You know, like ones that he actively wanted to see. It's not that I didn't want to see them. It was just having to be, oh, you know, this is more for you than it is for me. Um, and he's the one that really got me into superheroes. Like, I freaking love superheroes. Mostly Marvel. I'm not, I'm not a big DC girl. Sorry about it for anyone who is, but it's not me. And, um, gosh, it's hot in my room. <laughs> I'm, like, sitting here sweating bullets right now. And we would go to, like, maybe one or two movies of quote-unquote mine throughout the year, and he would make it a miserable experience. Like, he would cross his arms and pout the entire time and get, be mad at me and not speak to me. And it, it was bad. Like, it was not fun at all. You know, it's not how that sort of thing should be. You should be super excited and dressing up and having fun. And no, I had to worry about him and his temper. You know, I had to spend the entire, like, preview worrying about him, asking him, Hey, are you okay? I'm sorry if you're mad at me. I'm sorry that I made you go to this. Um, and that sort of thing. And you shouldn't have to do that with anyone. You should be able to like what you want to like. And they should be happy to go with you, just like I was always happy to go with him. But it was his way or no way, you know? And, yeah. It was not fun. And, like, I even saw a freaking evil dead for him. And if you know anything about me, I love horror movies. Horror movies are my freaking jam. That's pretty much the only reason I really actually like Halloween time is for freaking horror movies. Otherwise, I genuinely don't give a crap about Halloween. I really don't. <laughs> Sorry for anyone that upsets, but I... I mm. Oh, it's okay. It's just not really my thing, I guess. Um, I just like it for the horror films. And But, like, possession movies scare the bejesus out of me. I am not a fan of, you know, anything that gets possessed. I, I just, I can't. I can't do it, guys. I can't. <laughs> it's, it's not fun times for me. Um, I don't know how big these stairs are going to be to make. Well, I guess I can't plunk that out, can I? Okay. So now it's gonna have to stay like that. Um, any stairs? I wish we had stairs made out of the clay. That would be nice, but I guess I'm gonna have to use this, aren't I? Um, but anyway, so I saw that for him. Like, I was pretty much in tears because that movie scared the crap out of me. Like, I, I can't do possession movies. I really, really can't. Let me move this closer. It's less confusing for me if I have a if I have a block that's a different color. So then I can just knock it out after. Oh, oh. There we go. Okay, so now we got some stairs. Oh, 
Bugger. <laughs> this house isn't wide enough, is it? Nope. So, no stairs for me. Oh gosh, it's my timer. And I don't know how to do those fun spiral ones that I saw everyone doing in Coffee Craft. So, uh, hmm. Well. Uh, so, I think I'm gonna probably just leave this part here. Now that you guys know the story about my now former best friend. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to leave this part here. And the next Minecraft Monday, we will probably be finishing up the house and getting this, the rest of this going. Uh, yeah, if you want to know anything else about me, just ask and I'll make that the topic for the next one. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!